In the last video, we discussed how you can change the order of integration for a double integral. So this video is about double integrals over rectangles, choosing the easiest order of integration. We want to evaluate the double integral over r of xy cosine y dA over the region r where x goes from negative 1 to 1 and y goes from 0 to pi. So let's set up our double integral both ways and then figure out which one would give us an easier integration. So the first way I'm going to do um, with x first and y second, so I get the double integral of um, the x goes from negative 1 to 1, so that'll be my inner integral, and the y is on the outside, so it goes from 0 to pi. So I get the double integral from 0 to pi and then negative 1 to 1 of xy cosine y dx dy. So with this one I would um, integrate with respect to x first. Or my second choice is doing a dy dx where I would integrate with respect to y first. Bounds for y on the inner integral would be 0 to pi and bounds for x on the outer integral would be negative 1 to 1. So I would get the integral from negative 1 to 1 integral from 0 to pi of xy cosine y dy dx. Now on the left hand side, let's look at if we do with respect to x first. Then the y cosine y is just a big constant because the x is my variable that I'm integrating with respect to. And so I would just get x squared over 2 times that big constant. So x squared over 2 times y cosine y evaluated from x equals negative 1 to 1. And when I plug that in I would get 1 half y cosine y minus my lower bound when I plug in a negative 1. I'm also going to get 1 half y cosine y. And so actually I get 0 for my inner integral. Now I plug that into my outer integral the integral from 0 to pi of 0 dy. Now since this is a definite integral with a lower bound and an upper bound, the integral of 0 is just 0. And so I know that my final answer is 0. So that was pretty simple um, doing it with respect to x first. Now on the right hand side, when I am doing the integral with respect to y first, I have to use integration by parts because I have xy where y is a variable times cosine y and y is a variable. So I would say u equals xy, dv equals cosine y dy. Now to find du I take the derivative with respect to y so I get du equals x dy and v equals sine y, the antiderivative of cosine y. So then I need the integral um, to equal uv minus the integral of v du, so that's xy times sine y, that's my u times v, evaluated from y equals 0 to y equals pi, minus the integral from 0 to pi, of sine y, which is my v, times du x dy, and I have to evaluate um, that antiderivative from 0 to pi. So the xy sine y from y equals 0 to y equals pi comes out 0 because sine of pi is 0 and sine of 0 is 0. So I can ignore that part right there. It's just a zero. And then I get minus antiderivative of x sine y with respect to y is negative x cosine y and then evaluate it from y equals zero to y equals pi. So the double negative becomes a positive and I get x cosine pi minus x cosine zero. So that's negative x minus x 
which is negative 2x. So that's what my inner integral y going from 0 to pi of xy cosine y dy is equivalent to. Now to finish up, I have to plug that back into my outer integral with respect to x. So I get the integral from negative 1 to 1 of negative 2x dx. So that's negative x squared evaluated from negative 1 to 1. So I have negative 1 minus negative 1, which is 0. So notice in both cases I come up with exactly the same answer. But if I integrate with respect to x first, it was a much simpler integration. And so if you set up a double integral and realize that you don't know how to integrate it or you're running into some kind of problem with it, then try switching the order of integration and you might get something simpler um, to work with.